This is the recipe for tarte au roquefort pois et noir. And to get the ingredients, I went to Nye Market on a lovely Tuesday morning, bright and early. I went to see the cheese at Farm Freddy's stand in the market to see Clementine. And she sold me some lovely Roquefort cheese. And I also found some nice pears in the market and the eggs too. And we got home with all the lovely ingredients ready to make the tart. And the video, we set up the lighting and put everything out on the table. So here's the Roquefort. It's from the well-known producer in the Roquefort region of France called Gabriel Coulet. I chose commis pears because of their texture and they're very juicy. You can see they really look nice here. The walnuts are from my garden. We have a couple of trees in the garden. Creme fraiche, 250 millilitres. And then the eggs are from Farm Jolibert just up the road in the next village sprinkling a brown sugar just for the top and there's my short crust pastry that I made earlier. Please don't buy it in the supermarket, there's too much packaging involved. Then we put everything together in a big bowl and mix it in together. So in go the eggs, 250 millilitres of fresh cream, I crumbled in the roquefort and the creme fraiche is in there as well of course. And then we mix it all together. We can keep the lumps, it's nice to have a few lumps, but we need just to beat the eggs in properly. You can always beat the eggs beforehand and put them in. Here we go, we're just going to pour it into the pastry case. Oh, look at that, it's nice and lumpy, it really doesn't have to be smooth. Okay, so now I'm going to put the pears on, which are already sliced. And this is the first time I've made this tart. So at this point I was thinking, oh, how should I arrange these pears on the top? Anyway, this is what I did, and then I added the walnuts. And when I tasted it, I thought, um, not enough walnuts for me. So I doubled the amount the next time I made the recipe, but you can do what you like. Then I sprinkled the sugar on the top, put it in the oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes. And we served it with a nice salad from the market and a Rioja from our Spanish wine supplier in Idron. Thanks to Kate Hill, it's her recipe. Thank you very much, Kate Bravo. And thanks to Photogma Film Production too. And we'll see you next time for another video.